Hello there, this is Robin Bremer. And today, I just want to share with you something that's on my heart. <laughs> um, do you know that the spiritual body, the spirit, the physical body is a copy of the spiritual body? The spiritual, the physical body needs to eat. God, everything God created with life in it needs uh, some kind of food. It needs to eat to grow. And the physical body is a copy of the spiritual body. And your spiritual body needs to eat. Now your physical body eats at least three meals a day and lots of snacks in between to keep it healthy and to keep it growing. Your spiritual body needs food too but most Christians and I really want you to receive this and see the truth in it and then change your life everything that you see with your eyes and you hear with your ears or you speak is a seed that affects your spiritual body which affects your physical body if you're watching TV and you're seeing all the commercials telling you when to expect what sickness, what the symptoms are, um, what the terrorist alert level is, what horrible thing happened to somebody who went swimming or who drove down the street, um, or you're listening to the radio, even Christian programs that condemn, that make you feel guilty and shameful and not worthy and you're never good enough, um, that criticize you and so on. If you're listening to that stuff, consciously or unconsciously if your TV is on in your house what you are doing is you are feeding your spiritual man you might not even realize it but your spiritual man needs to grow and your spiritual man needs spiritual food and words are the bridge that brings the spiritual realm into mass manifestation in the physical realm God created this whole earth include everything on this earth uh, through words and then he he created dirt with words then he took that dirt and he created us so we are created with words and words are seeds whether you hear them on the TV the radio or someone speaks them over you or read the newspaper you are creating seeds that go into your spirit man and that create a harvest and when you come up with something like cancer or diabetes or, or leukemia or something that is incurable or some horrible disease, uh, you took however many years old you are to, uh, to get that disease without hearing spiritual substance that could create healing for you. So it's going to take a while for you to build up your spiritual body to receive healing because you have to nourish your body you have to you have to get food you have to get spiritual food you have to get the right food in your body your spiritual food in order to uh, create health in your physical body because your healing is created by words words are spirit and life the words that Jesus spoke and the words in the Bible in the New Testament especially the Old Testament is a shadow of Jesus and you have to look at it through the lens of the love of Jesus and it, it reveals Jesus and your need for Jesus so you have to eat a lot a lot a lot of spiritual food in order to get healed so if you are sick in any way I highly re I highly suggest to you that you buy borrow rent watch on TV or the internet whatever uh, ministries that are walking in God's supernatural presence and power and get in a church that is manifesting God's presence and power but also get in a church that is not making you come to the altar every Sunday and get born again saved born again unsaved 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 born again uh, born again because you are eternally saved okay your spirit is a brand new creature now your spirit is perfect and brand new so you are saved and sealed in the Holy Spirit. Now what you have to do is grow. You have to eat the right food to grow. So get involved in ministries like mine or a bunch of other ministries that I recommend on my website. Uh, videos, borrow videos, CDs, DVDs, cassettes, whatever you can and feed on 
ministries that teach you how to walk in God's presence and power on this earth because you were created to be uh, to have authority and dominion on this earth and Jesus paid the price for people not to have sickness or disease or poverty lack or fear that's why the kingdom is here and the kingdom is in you because you have the power in you to change someone's life you have the power in you to change your life and your community so by shutting off the trash on the TV throwing away the newspaper because it's just the devil's news and really getting into the Word of God and understanding it that is what's going to bring you life that's going to bring you health and we're getting into some scary times I really don't believe we're going to be raptured really soon because God's not going to take a fearful and weak wimpy bride out of this church out of this world this world needs to see the supernatural this world needs to see people raised from the dead needs to see healing signs wonders and miracles um, multiplying food all kinds of things this world is so sick under the curse they need the Christian they need us because we have the power in us to change their situation so get into the word get desperate get hungry put away all the trash I'm coming out with a book I don't know when it's going to be out but it's really uh, going to be deep and I, it's going to set you free and I really can't wait to release it but right now I'm walking through it myself I'm God is teaching me and giving me the revelation right now and I'm walking through it and proving it and and living it so until this time in my life changes I'm walking in this place and getting revelation and I, I can't release the book until I'm finishing experiencing it and writing it but I know it's going to be uh, life-changing and it will have the word kingdom in it somewhere because everything I teach is about the kingdom because that's a, a great revelation that he's given me so my name is Robin Bremer robinbremer.net and uh, go to my website check out my other teaching lots of free materials charts posters all kinds of stuff you can get for free Share my stuff with your social media social media site and your friends on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or wherever. Uh, if you don't like what I have to say, that's fine. Leave some comments. I don't care. Um, you just are what spurs me on to study and get more revelation. If you don't like me, it uh, doesn't make me mad. It makes me uh, get more revelation. So, robinbremer.net, check out my website, and have a blessed day.